Nipa biomass boiler plant uses renewable resources to produce heat for the Electrene region. How does this modern 40 megawatt boiler plant work? Each truck carrying biomass is registered as it enters the boiler plant territory. It then proceeds to the weighing station. Electronic scales determine the weight of the delivered biomass. A sample is taken and the initial moisture content of the biomass is measured. Then the truck takes the biomass to a closed warehouse, which can store three days of reserves. The warehouse can accommodate a total of about 5,000 cubic meters of biomass. That's an amount of potential thermal energy that a typical family would take some 600 years to consume. Working at full capacity, the plant uses more than 1,700 cubic meters of biomass a day, or slightly more than 70 cubic meters an hour. The biomass warehouse is equipped with two cranes. Each has a grab volume of six cubic meters. The cranes take the biomass from the reception pit and spread it evenly elsewhere in the warehouse or load it directly into intermediate storage bunkers. The biomass is transported from the intermediate storage bunkers into the fuel separator, where special shafts separate out pieces that are too large, and a magnetic separator removes any metal. The boiler plant can burn various types of biomass, including wood chips, sawdust, and lumber waste. The biomass is supplied by conveyor to the boiler plant, where intermediate fuel silos are installed. Each can accommodate 40 cubic meters of biomass. This process ensures an even supply of fuel to the boilers and reliable operation of the warehouse equipment. The plant has two boilers that weigh more than 80 tons each and are 15 meters high and 6 meters in diameter. The boilers can be started up from a cold state in less than 8 hours. A 6 megawatt natural gas burner is installed in each of the boilers to ignite the biomass during startup. The boilers operate on the fluidized bed principle. The biomass and an inert material, sand, are boiled in a stream of air. Once a temperature of 850 degrees is reached, the active oxidation of flammable materials takes place. That is, combustion. Fluidized bed technology is recognized as one of the best for burning biomass. The efficiency of the boiler can be as high as 89%. Flue gases emitted from the boilers are filtered by two electrostatic precipitators, which remove the solid particles. The efficiency of the electrostatic precipitators is as high as 98%. When biomass that has not been dried is burned in the boilers, a lot of the heat is used to evaporate the moisture from the fuel. Condensing economizers are used to recover the waste heat for reuse as the exhaust gases are cooled and the water vapor in the exhaust condenses. This allows an additional 20 to 30 percent of thermal energy to be extracted. The clean flue gases are released through a stack that is 42 and a half meters high and 3 meters in diameter. With the condensing economizer, the efficiency can reach 104 percent. The boiler plant is an example of efficiency. It produces cleaner heat at a competitive price. The heat produced at this environmentally friendly boiler plant provides for more than 90% of the heating needs of the city of Electrene and the town of Kirtavishkas.